is uh, me again. Uh, uh, this video is about uh, MongoDB sharding um, on uh, the cluster you see here, HP uh, XW8200. And um, earlier I did a video, um, just uploaded it yesterday, you can have a look, on setting up virtual machines, um, hosting uh, Ubuntu clusters, um, and allowing them to talk to one another through SSH on my Dell PowerHC6100. So check out the video from earlier. Um, so this cluster was set up with uh, Ubuntu 12.04, and they can all talk to, to talk to one another through a hub hidden behind here. So um, we can have a look. Um, and what I'm going to do is to use Node.js um, um, with this uh, uh, Node.js JavaScript uh, program that generates a 64 character key from the character sets here. So um, this is just a test for 10 keys. So for 10 times in a loop, I'm generating a 64 character set from this uh, character string and not putting them. So if we have a look, okay, and that's already generated, so okay, so it's generating that. But what we can do actually is to stress test uh, the sharding and see what happens. Um, so by increasing that to the, you know, 10 million uh, key pairs. Okay, so we actually need that. Um, this has been saved. And what I'm doing is to call a function from data.js. So it is connecting to the MongoDB. Um, and there's a stress test function that allows me to insert the generated keys into the MongoDB database. Okay, closed it. Okay, so there we go. So um, this has been saved, so the two files have been saved, and let's put it to sort tree. Okay, that's done. I'm going to load this up, and there we have this. Okay, so this has been uploaded. I'm going to go back to my server. Okay, I'm actually connecting to it. That's local. Um, okay, but this is uh, the server. So, so this is the where the program lies, and that's the first machine you see here, okay? And the rest are on the other clusters, uh, that's physical. So over here, I'm, um, I'm going to pull in the code. Okay, and what changes? So if we look at these four, uh, this five uh, uh, terminals. We can see that we've got a workstation 8200 here, um, 8200 here too, and this is the first uh, uh, master here. The rest, this is A, B, and C. Okay, and that's A, B, and C. What I was, I'm doing here is that I've already installed all the MongoDB on the all the HPs, and on the master, I'm running one config server. Normally, in deployment, you have to run three, but for testing purposes, one is sufficient. I'm also running the Mongo server in on the same machine. That's eight two zero zero. So it's these two, the config server and the Mongo server, is running on the same uh, node. Um, for A, B, and C, I'm running the replica set. So these are the shards. Okay, and it's all been set up so it's talking to one another. 
with the uh, the server pulling data from the config config server um, and also talking to the rest but let's test this and see so I've got a few files here let's do a note data main.js and see what happens um, I'm also taking a video of uh, of the screen here um, hang on a minute uh, so taking a video of to see what happens okay, as I press enter okay um, I'm recording on another video and I'm gonna press uh, Let's go see what happens. So it's it's um, there are, there were a few things that that has been um, working in this port uh, in all the servers. You can see it's running things, but okay. The other video which I will show you later also shows some processes going on. So the sharding actually works. Machine, the fan is really pushing itself. It's process. Okay, so we're pushing in ten million records. Okay, I'm just gonna let it run. Okay, perhaps we could also SSH. Run Mongo here. Okay, um, so uh, twenty zero point twenty five gigabytes is is in. If we do that again, okay, um, it will just increase. Let me uh, uh, use SDD show collections uh, db dot test data dot find. Let, let's see if we can find. Well, let's just go through all of them. Okay, and that's outputting all the notes and keys. So it's now uh, almost a million. So coming back to the uh, video, uh, we can see that we've reached a million, thirty-one thousand, um, and uh, um, it, because of the way sharding works, um, only when it reaches the threshold will the will it, you know, push data to the other replica set. So um, over here, you can see that you know uh, they've all been contacted by the master. Which is these two and the servers here. Um, also here, uh, there's a there's a there's a connection accepted from the master and also here. So they're all connected. But um, in order to check the status, we can use this command mongo stat discover to see um, uh, statistics for all the members in the replica set. So when a read or write is performed, you can see which member is servicing servicing the request. So when I get this, it's trying to connect, and you can see that uh, one nine two dot one six eight dot a hundred dot one zero one one zero three, okay, is servicing the the request. Uh, so this is back to the status again. Um, if I do a query, you can see um, in the query column. Um, something happened, so it's either one or two, um, uh, and let's let's try to do that. So got that as you can see. Um, query one. If I do it continuously, I could have written a script to do it, but let's just do it this way. Okay, you can see that it's reading from 
basically uh, one but also sometimes you can see that it reads from two and three okay Well, I guess that's it. Um, yeah, if you um, like my series of videos, um, uh, comment, subscribe, and like. Um, thank you very much for watching.